Would you like to tell me a little bit about your living situation? Um, what type of place do you live in? Who do you live with? Things of that nature. Okay, so I live in the suburbs of Atlanta. I live in a neighborhood on less than an acre. Um, I live with my mom, my dad, my sister, my son, and my three dogs. And what type of house, or is it a house, apartment? What? It's a house. And what type of house it's is it? It's a single it? family house. And have you always lived in Gwinnett County? Yes. yes, I have always lived in Gwinnett County. And how did your family end up here? So, my parents, both of them, are originally from Michigan. Um, <clears throat> they a attended college there, and my father ended up with a job in Atlanta, and they moved here and had their kids shortly after okay have you invested in solar either on your rooftop of your home or on your property as part of your business or a part of a program through your utility no why do you is there a reason why you don't have solar rooftop is that a decision you made or was it made for you um i think it's a decision that i did not make but um we come from a pretty low-income household, and we have been using the energy that has been provided here. <laughs> if it was available, would you want solar? I think so. I think I would, yes. And why do you? Why would you want it? Um, I think that it's. Um, a better option than what we're using. Um, I think it's more environmentally friendly. Um, why do you think being a part of a multi-generational -gener household uh, means that you can't have solar besides, like if it were less expensive as far as you know, would y'all be, would y'all be willing to pursue that or is that not a conversation you've really discussed? Um, it's not something that we've discussed for our household. Um, I don't think that it's been discussed because it hasn't, uh, the opportunity hasn't been presented to us. Um, I think had the opportunity been presented, I think it would be a topic of discussion amongst our house household yeah yeah I mean I don't even know how you go about getting it installed I mean I hear about people having it but like I don't really know yeah right I'd like to talk a bit about rooftop solar in general um, I'm going to provide you with a map of the United States mm -hmm. and a pen sure and I'd like for you to just shade in what parts of the United States do you think utilize rooftop solar energy on their homes? And you can say... Just based off of what... Of what you think. Off of what yeah. I think? Yeah. Sure. Okay. I'm going to go with the East Coast. I mean West, sorry. <laughs> I'm thinking of where we live. I think I'm going to go with the East Coast also. I do you think that one is? Or Georgia? Georgia, I think. Alaska? I would think so. Just because they need... I, I do think so. Um, I think... I'm going to go with Michigan. Maybe not having... They have windmills. Maybe they have solar panels. And I'm scared I messed something up. I feel like it said 14 minutes before, and now it says 7. Are you on recording right now? Yeah. All right, I guess that's my 
I know. Why do you think people here have the most solar on their rooftops? If you want to go, if you have specific reasons for different areas. <laughs> I'm confused about. What was the question? I'm sorry. Um, what reason you think these areas utilize uh, rooftop solar? Do you want to speak about I think them in that... general or specific specific areas? Okay, so I think that the places that I have marked are what I think are progressive states. Um, I also think that Alaska... <laughs> Um, doesn't have the resources that we have, and they use. <laughs> Dude, I can't even. <laughs> I feel like Rebecca's just like scolding me right now. Solar energy. So that's why I marked the places that I did. Well, Texas isn't really. Most people wouldn't think of it as a progressive area. So why would? Why do you think you marked that state? So I marked Texas. Because I, I actually do think that um, a lot of places... Texas is such a big state. Yeah. So people see it in different ways. And I do think that um, a lot of places in Texas are pretty progressive. So maybe as a state, as a whole, maybe it's not viewed that way. But I do think that a lot of places in Texas are. So. Yeah. 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 Yeah? Okay. And then uh, now we're going to go specifically with Georgia. I'm going to provide you with a map of Georgia, and you're going to um, mark what communities you think people have the most rooftop solar in their homes on this map. Okay. All right. Well, I am going to eliminate most of the south. Um... I think I will pick Savannah, um, Atlanta, and in north of Atlanta. And why would you think um, those areas, those communities, use uh, rooftop solar in Georgia? Um. So I think that. Uh, I think that. This area in Georgia would use it because I would think that <clears throat> they it's a more progressive area than the southern part of Georgia. And also, um, a lot of North Georgia is in the mountains, so uh, maybe it's a better resource of energy because they don't have uh, an alternative maybe. So I noticed that you made with both maps a correlation between where areas of like a progressive attitude with solar energy do you think that more often um, it's people's like political ideologies versus utility of it as far as like use go that drive them to use it or not you go what i'm asking i i i think so um political or will you will you say progressive like progressive areas versus where people regardless of attitude it might be the most useful yeah um and more like uh, environmentally friendly, uh, and I, I guess, yeah, their political ideas do play a factor in, uh, the decisions that I've made, sure. But do you think that is more, what I'm saying is, do you think that I, just the people's attitudes towards it plays more of a part than actually its usefulness because like you would think that in a lot of areas of where farming and stuff go on that people would ideally make better use of it I guess so do you think that an attitude towards it kind of is more of a driving force to people's decisions is what I'm asking um I 
Um, I think that people having a education and educated stance um, correlates with progressiveness um, and also their political stance, but that's very opinionated. Um, I, I think it's more of a education education barrier. yeah mm -hmm. but, and what's what's av available and how to obtain it I mean I realize the significance of um, it's something that my family could do to leave less of a carbon footprint but it's something that we don't know how to obtain and you know, we, we will look into it, but um, but it is probably something that we haven't looked into because of the cost. Uh, but I think that the areas that I pointed out are uh, because of the education that um, they realize uh, that it's better. Yeah, perhaps. Cool. What about most of your friends in Georgia? Do you the, do they have solar on their roof? Do you know anyone with solar on their roof? I don't have very many friends, so <laughs> <laughs> I can't speak for that. Uh, but I have seen um, <clears throat> homes with solar panels. Um, I've seen uh, buildings with solar panels. Where? Uh, driving down 316, I saw... And also, um, going out to, to Winder, I think it was, there was, there was something to say. <laughs> Is there a reason why you think most people, you know, don't have it other than, was it kind of the same of what you said about yourself? Yeah, I think it does. I think it is, um, uh, just like what I said about myself, but, uh, things are so set in stone at the moment and it's going to take a while to get to where we need to be regarding this matter. Um, I think everyone finds it important. It's just uh, how do we go about it and uh, how much it costs. I think those are I think those are the big A and B factors. Yeah.